Alrighty, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to put the RAV4 roof rack on your IS300 Sport Cross. Uh, keep in mind you gotta use the 2006-2012 RAV4 as that's the roof rack that fits. Um, so let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is take off your weather stripping. Um, it's normally up in here. What I did is I took a little spatula and I snaked it in here and I kind of popped it up nice and gentle and just slowly picked it up all throughout. Um, so once that was done, um, you have you know full access and your existing OEM bolts from your Sport Cross are in here. You're not going to need those anymore. So take them out. There's one, two, and three, four. So eight total on the whole car. Um, once you've got those out, the next step is you're going to need to uh, kind of modify the RAV4 mounting points um, so they'll fit on your Sport Cross. So I'll go over the fronts and the back some. The fronts are a little harder than the back some. From the top, it's really easy. All you have to do is drill this one hole. Um, you can kind of cheat by seeing this little plastic circle that's already like OEM there. Just go a little up and left from there and you can drill your hole in there. Um, the reason for that is, see this front hole lines up with that and then the new hole you drilled will line up with that. Um, so that's really easy. The only other thing you have to do to the fronts is um, you need to make, sorry, this shorter. It's usually like this tall and it won't sit in the, uh, it won't sit in the channel well. So you kind of grind these off. I used a jigsaw, um, pretty ugly, but it doesn't matter. And the other thing you have to do is um, this rubber usually has a nice big old bump here and a nice big old bump here. Um, I took a Dremel and just kind of Dremeled it off. Uh, and that helps this piece sit in this channel. Before it was too wide and it wouldn't fit. When you shave it down, it'll actually go down in there. So I hope I can illustrate that. Um, but as you can see, when I bolt it down, it's gonna be hella flush. Um, so that's the fronts. Uh, the backs are much easier, actually. You don't have to do anything on the bottom of it. It's just one little modification on the top. What you're gonna wanna do is take the back hole and just make it a little bit longer towards the back. What that's gonna enable you to do is shift this up a little bit more so that it's not like overhanging right here. So um, as you can see, the bolt points are pretty much gonna fit stock. You're just gonna make this one a little bit wider. Yeah, you can see the bolt in there. So you can bolt it all down. Um, so once you've modified uh, all four of your feet, we'll call it, um, the next thing to do is to actually cut your rails because your rails from your roof rack or from your RAV4, they're too long. The RAV4 is longer than the IS. Um, so you're gonna need to chop these down. Um, I'll give you a little cheat sheet here. You're gonna wanna chop them down to exactly 38 and a half inches. Um, that's what worked for me. I assume all of our sport crosses have the same dimensions. If you wanna be safe, I would chop them down to 39 inches and then shave off like a few millimeters at a time. Um, Cause once you cut these things too short, you can't, you know, you can't fix that. If you cut them too long, you're still gonna be able to make small improvements. Um, so after your, you know, your mounting points are set up and your rail is hooked up uh, or cut to the right length, you put it all together and you bolt it down, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but as you imagine, you know, you bolt here, you bolt here, you bolt there, you bolt there, and it's just before you bolt it all down, you put it all together. Um, one other cool thing to know is the hardware you need. What worked for me was um, M6 screws, machine screws, uh, and they were 50 millimeters tall. I'll put a link, uh, but they were in Home Depot in like the hardware aisle. Um, so. Um, I'll show you pictures, of course, but once you've got one rail on and two rails on, uh, then it's time to address the crossbars, which are very, very easy. Um, so, the crossbars have these star-headed bolts here. Um, undo these, be very careful. If you strip these, you're going to have a really hard time. So just make sure you have the right size bit, you use some uh, PB blaster or something, and take those out on both sides. Um, once you do, this will slide right off. Um, so then you'll have just your bar. And cheat sheet again, you cut your crossbar to exactly 36 inches. Once again, you might wanna cut it to 37 and incrementally shave it down from there, but 36 is where I landed and it worked great. 
Um, so you got your rails on your car, you've cut your crossbars, and how it works is these sides, they just kind of slide onto the roof rails uh, from the back. So just get in the back of the car, take your crossbar and slide it on, and then you tighten it down with these big plastic knobs here. So that is really the whole job, guys. Um, I'll put a after picture right after this video, but I hope this helps somebody. If you have questions, hit me up.